Let's not even think about that last run. It doesn't count. It's not real. Can't hurt us. I think I'm just gonna... Well, there's the structure. Let's start with the shield instead of the other thing, otherwise I end up taking a bunch of damage. Okay, so we start with the balloon, which is honestly not really that good of a structure, but it's there. It's a thing. Okay. We want to just clobber this thing. Let's see. Also, no more runes showing up for purse. Oh, interesting. So those those runes that were kind of ever present the last couple runs aren't going to be here either. All right, cool. Glad we grabbed that hot hot fix. But yeah, let's let's see if I can build a, a cool house. I don't know why I did that. That's fine. Please, sir, give me brick. Well, weapons in this column gain bonus damage. Sure. Slap that right there. Could do more. Could grab the Rose of Thorns. I think I'm mostly just going to ignore it. Okay, so that's a... That boosts a shield. We don't want to do any of these, though. Okay. And I think I'll just wait. These guys aren't that dangerous. I say is, you know, they're starting to wail on me a bit. There we go. Um. Eh. I'll wait. He's not getting too much. I'm just trying to decide how aggressive I want to be here. But I'm aggressive enough. Okay. I've decided this is going to be at what? It'll be a very tall run. So we have a pair of ethereal whetstones. Which I'm going to grab but not use. I could also grab the old log if I wanted to mess around with some other things, but no. Uh, let's see. There's no store here, is there? Well, that's unfortunate. There we go. I guess I have to hit them multiple times. Take them out. I guess I should do that. It's not like these crabs are actually that tough. There we go. Alright. So we do have the short bow, but let's grab the dagger. Grab another one of these mugs. Like any of these are actually good or bad. Hmm. Could grab this for the bonus damage. Hard to say. Oh, let's get rid of the rough buckler. Grab this. I can't take more. Not that one. There we go. Okay, so now we get the bonus damage. And I could keep the knight shield around for the... For the boost. Yeah, I might just do that. Actually, let's do no thanks. We'll wait until we're done with this, just in case I get, like, the Hercule Pavace or something ridiculous. It's unlikely to show up, but there's always a possibility. Hey, thank you, Devum, for the, uh, for the Prime sub, and welcome on in. And also, thank you, Necromancer, for the 34 month resub. Thanks so much. Okay. Get you next time. I didn't kill him. There we go. Now I've got him. Uh, let's see. So we've we've kind of hit maximum tall here. There's always the golden bow, which is kind of fun, but not really what I'm going for. Move the mug. Grab another one of these. Just keep pushing that bonus damage for reasons unknown. All right, chest of valuables. Brick. We also got the wizard's cap. Worth a lot, but I shouldn't do it. Uh, <sighs> 
Okay, we want the brick. There we go. Trap those there. And we good? Kind of. Whole thing looks goofy as shit. But it's okay. Bop him. Bap him. We're good. I could kill him by chucking mugs in his face. But that seems really silly to me. So no, we're just going to kill him by beating him in the face. Uh, let's see. We do have a... Uh, we do have a key. You know what? I'm going to lose this. Grab the key. Go unlock this door, at the very least. Alright, what do you have for me? Mostly all trash. It's all trash. Okay, I'm not going to be able to kill this guy. But at least I can hurt him. There we go. I've been watching on YouTube and this is the first time I've been able to catch up on, uh, catch, catch you on Twitch. Well, welcome on in. Uh, let's see. Not much I can do here. It's fine. I stream kind of chaotically recently. Life has conspired to not give me, uh, a solid schedule. Huh. No, we just did an archery run. I can't. I can't in con good conscience do the exact same dang thing a second time around. No matter how tempting it is. Ooh. I... Rage Club. Okay. Boy, this would be great if we... Let's grab haste. Because we, we want that haste generation. Oh, man, if we can get the uh, the shield perk. I'd be a happy camper. Can you put the balloon under the brick? Yes. Yes, I can. That is, in fact, what I have done. Okay, so he's hitting me for... Is that 18? Oh, right, but I could have weakened him a bunch. Let's just do that. All right, we'll be fine. There we go, what else can we do? Oh, there's the Glove of Knives. Wait, on scratch, two damage all enemies. So yeah, not, not actually that helpful. And I could get another shiv if I wanted to use the emeralds, but I don't think I care that bad here. Uh, let's see. Are any of these good? I guess I'll grab the large heart ring. And this, because the large heart ring can be sold for big money. Blacksmith? You are not a blacksmith. Any of these good? Not overwhelmingly. Oh, and still no shop. I am so glad you can return to that one. Not that it matters here. But it could in some cases. Just give them the po poison. Oh, that's just going to kill all the crabs. Hell yeah. Now, I think the poison is just going to take out the crabs. Yep, there they go. Melt for me. Alright, and three more spaces. I just keep doing that. Currently, we don't have anything. What the hell? Well, I guess I'll grab that. We get the blood bow. Oh, and I, I got rid of my helmet. I, I guess I'll... Wait. Aha! And yeah, we still don't actually have a shopkeeper. That yeah, creates a curse. Adjacent weapons. Nah. That doesn't really help me too much. 
I'm just gonna club this guy so he doesn't do any damage to me. Or he just dies. That also works. I do I do really like the weakness from that club. Uh huh. Okay, I'm gonna grab that. I have a small hope that we can get the thing that makes it so shields attack. Because if we can get that, things could get really goofy. Maybe. Alright. What do you do? What do you got? We got a big fish. Is rage to self. Mmm. I don't know. Do we want to just get rid of the ethereal whetstones in favor of fish? Let's just get a fish. I guess I could also grab the water flask, which is just better, ain't it? Yeah. It is. So is this an inventory management roguelike? Yup. It's... I... This is going to... Mark my words, in a year when this comes out, this is going to be one of those roguelikes that quickly becomes, like... Top tier. I, I don't exactly know how to fully put it into words. But you know, every once in a while there's a roguelike that comes out. I'm thinking like Inscription, for example. Um, where everybody starts playing it and they're like, holy shit, this is like revolutionarily good. I feel like that's going to be Backpack Hero. I could be wrong. Um, but playing this game feels exactly like how it felt playing Slay the Spire when it first came out. I don't have enough gold. I have enough gold, but you absolute turd burglar. It's fine. All right. Bop him with that. Can't do too much. But I can slow him down. Is that old turtle ever given anything good? Nope. Oh, this is hilarious. <laughs> How much damage are you supposed to be doing to me? Oh, he's healing. Stop healing! But yeah, Backpack Hero is a super low bar to entry, but has a high ceiling of knowing the items you can get to work, how the combos work, etc. Yup. Uh... I can stopwatch. Windmill is good. That extra energy is lovely. This is fine. I was really hoping to get the attack shield item. But alas. Now, am I... Am I chaotic enough to go into Poison Town? I don't wanna. I will probably die. Boy, this with the Cursed Blade would be absurd, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think I just don't do enough damage to go into the swamp. I agree with that statement. I guess I could have... Unlocked uh, that one. Well, I guess we should probably get rid of the mace at this point. Okay, they're swinging for 17 on me. So I guess I gotta block once. It's fine. Yeah, your main build is weakened. You can't weaken poison. Can't weaken fire either. But yeah, no, you're completely correct. Oh, that did hurt. Oh well. Hello. Okay. Time to toss some things. Uh. Hit. Hot. Hit. Hippity hoppity. Hip hip peru. Hat. 
Huzzah. You know what? There's a shop, but it's fine. I'll live without that. All right, the house grows. Leave that there. God, grab the meal, I guess. We don't need the boots. Move the gem down. Eh? Oh, I guess, yeah, you're right. I could have actually, I could just move it down, down. But I'm just not going to be using this. I was really hoping I get the, um, the, when you block, you use the weapons around you. I was hoping to get that one. Wait, does that work with the Orc Sork Axe? To buy, bypass the damage? Or not the damage, the, the money cost? Because if so, that's actually pretty good. I've, I've never thought of that, but that'd be neat. And can't take more items. That's probably fine. All right, consume. So he's gonna hit for 21. So let's just not let him. Fortunately, he gained some block, but it's okay. What does the three-three structure do? It makes everything conductive, which is kind of neat. A bit niche, but kind of neat. Okay, well, that's interesting. For each adja adjacent or diagonal ring, scratch deals plus two damage. Adds one damage to scratch. I really want to do a scratch build now, now that I know that they're possible. Uh, let's see. Sell that too. Rad. Put the dagger back over here. I don't think there's anything else from this that I really want to mess around with. I really want one of these guys to just be carrying bricks. But alas. Cloth potion. Let's wail on him. I don't know if weakening him actually makes him do less bite. No, it doesn't. So his vampirism is not affected by... by weakness. That's an odd feeling. Uh... Huh. I guess I'll grab it. How much else I can do about it? Uh, let's see. The rest of these are common. Yeah, it's fine. We'll live without. I get plus X damage this turn. All right, fine. Somebody ordered a firm drubbing. I guess we just kill that guy. Uh, I don't think they're going to hurt me. Unfortunately, we can't keep that bonus damage. This might hurt. Never mind. Didn't hurt in the slightest. Thank you, dagger. Uh, let's see. Actually, maybe instead of the shiv, maybe we do that. Ain't quite right. Uh, huh. And yeah, you're right. Helmets get disabled if they're not on top now. Wow. I helmets really got the short end of the the nerf bat on this one, didn't they? That was a new patch. Good. Hot fix is even better. Okay. I mean, I guess we get a Necronomicon. This whole run really wanted me to go wizard, didn't I? I mean, I guess I could have. Okay, care not for him. And I do have a key. We probably have done this a while ago, but you know what? Oops. Oh, we get another key and another one of these. I left the Necronomicon behind. Ah, I got plenty of money. 
Oh, Hotfix does say they removed the vampirism gem ahead of the changes of vampirism. Neat. Okay, there's a shop. Oh, we might as well use our keys first. Pop it open. Uh, rocket is funny. I'm gonna grab it and then fire it. It's gonna do jack shit, but it's that's fine. Sup, suckers! Eat missile! <laughs> Just hit one damage. Okay, that was vapid and meaningless, but I do not tire of it. Okay, so here's the question. They're going to do a lot of damage to me. Let's just not. Let's just not truck with that. Let's see. 36. Are they going to do more than 36? No, they're not. Let's just beat that guy up. Just notice that the map has a cool S in the background. What? Okay. Probably do that once. Oh yeah, it does have the cool S. I love how that's just such a weird mystery cultural phenomenon. Oh. I have never actually found the duct tape before. That's interesting. I feel like there's got to be a better way to do this. But I don't know how. Here's the question. Does it duplicate the effects? No. So it really just lets me put the emerald over here. Yeah, so how does the duct tape work? So effectively, anything that is applied to the duct tape is applied to anything adjacent to it. Yeah, so it effectively makes the item bigger. Um, which can be used to extend certain things like the um, like the books that boost damage the Ring of Doom. Because uh, it effectively makes the Ring of Doom a little bit bigger, kind of. Ugh. I'm curious about it. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it with. It cost me almost no space too. Okay, so he's got a decent chunk of spikes. And he gains spikes per turn. I guess I'll just kind of chill. It also works for triggers like Spirit Shield and Cleaver activations. I was thinking about the Spirit Shield specifically. Because I bet I could do some really interesting things with the Spirit Shield. There he goes. Uh, does kind of depend on whether or not I actually get the spirit shield. Uh, is this worth it? I don't know. The gloves are a nice bonus block and they don't really cost too much. So I'll get them anyway. Actually, let's pop this open and see what, see what you are. Unfortunately, Berserker's Ring doesn't work great for us, but a second rooftop. Come on, rooftop. You're not a structure. How much money do I have? I don't know, but I think we're going to go for it.
Okay. I do have more money. Wait. If placed on the corner of a cauldron, it'll let you self-activate it. Huh. I could trigger it instantly. Or infinitely. Do I want to loop the cauldron? I could. I'd have to get rid of some stuff. But it's maybe worth it? Yeah, what, have I, what would I have to give up? I mean, probably the machete and the daggers, but I'm not really using them that much anyway. Uh, and also the letter. And that. Alright, here we go. Because I wasn't really sure how I was going to use... I don't know why that went there. Um... So, creates a potion in this row. So if I put it here? Yeah, the rage consumable relic would be incredible with this. You're right. Is this the right placement? Oh, it needs to be one higher. Eh. Like here? You sure? All effects applied to this are past to adjacent items. I don't... I don't know if you can. Because this isn't passing anything on to anything else. Yeah, I I don't think this is doing what you think what you think it's doing. I might need a second, maybe. The problem is, it's incredibly unlikely that I'm going to find another duct tape. Which is kind of the downer. Well. I don't know. I'll just hold on to it. We'll just do that for the time being. Do that for the bonus damage on that one. Back to roof farming. Yep. I need money. I need rooftops. You scum. None of gold. Damn it. Behold my cauldrons and weep. Or I can do nothing. Ah. Uh, it's a shame. Eat f eat the fish. Oh, well, that didn't do enough damage. Alright, whatever. Quaff it. We're good. We wanted four cauldrons, right? Ugh. Yeah, they have a strategy pin for self-activating cauldron. It needs two duct tapes. Well, we'll see if I get lucky. I mean, there's always the possibility it'll show up. They never know. Guess I'll take one damage for this. Oh, but I got some re regen. Well, at least the damage on this is pretty good. 
Yeah, so I'll hold on to the cauldron, maybe, maybe. Uh, I don't uh, This whole everything is weird scuffed. It's you again. Well, ooh, chef's hat. Wait, chef's hat is cleaver centric. I'm gonna grab it. I don't think I missed out on anything major. Helmets to the right are disabled. Cleavers below get 50% bonus damage. Each turn adds one block. Oh. That one doesn't get disabled if it's not on top. But yeah, it's a small legendary for selling. Exactly. Uh, let's kill the dude in the back in retrospect. Uh, I guess I'm going to take some damage here. Fine. Seven damage. It's fine. Yeah, we're good. Blanc him. I mean, honestly, this club is not half bad. 31 damage. I... It's really the stopwatch that's making it good. The stopwatch and the rage and hello. My baby. Hello, my honey. Hello. My brick time. Let's go. Let's see. Go for heart ring? Nah. Okay, so they're going to be vamping me. Or poisoning me. The poison part is the super not kosher. Don't like it. Uh, I guess I'm just going to start clobbering him. Yeah, poison's going to suck. And there's not much I can do about it. At least I do a decent chunk of damage, but... Yeah, Poison doesn't care how armored I am. And that's bad. Oh, let's see. We also have the coal. It's another small legendary. I think we might have to get rid of the cauldron. I just... I don't... I don't think I'm going to be able to use it here. Is there a key? No, there's not. Actually, know if that's gaining full, full block. Uh, let's see, regen want. You know, actually, the yeah, I should have. I should should have gone with the regen want. Well, is what it is. Okay, now we do have a boss fight. I'm pretty injured. Okay, but it's him. We're good. Eat that. I'm just gonna slow you down. And then give you a firm drubbing. I guess I could have grabbed that for some healing, but I think that would have been a mistake. Okay, we're looking at 22. So no, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hit the boss. Okay, looking at... Still can't get through my defenses. If I just drub the boss into next Tuesday, we have nothing to worry about. It's just when they start scaling, like this. This is a bit spooky. Ah, I might have been, been able to kill him. I'll kill him on the next round. And then I have nothing to worry about. Tough jumps. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright. Three spaces, you say. Yeah. So we probably want to want the bonus damage. I could go for the frog totem. Weird it as it is. Cause the frog totem would let me refill 
this every round. Potentially gain a bunch of regen. It's not the most interesting. This would give me a bunch of raw damage from the start. This would give me extra scaling. This would let me use mana. Yeah, let's go with this. Odd as it is. Okay. Let's see if we get a regen anything. The answer is no, but we do get a key. Sometimes useful. I'm probably going to get killed. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, let's see. Hey, we get this. And we get a snake. Use this twice. Oh, does the letter... Oh, the letter bonus only works once. Well, that sucks a bit. You can't stack it multiple times. Uh, okay, hold up. I'm gonna go back to menu. Let's try that again. I know letter is this turn. I was just hoping I could get it to trigger, uh, trigger its effects twice in one round. But alas, doesn't work that way. Ugh. Not enough. I think I'm actually just dead. Here. I'm gonna go back to main menu one more time. Oh, the gem isn't anywhere near the club. You're right. But let's uh let's try fighting the fire geckos. Wait, you can't I'm triggering it three times on two machetes. You sure? Okay, so it's for 15 damage now. And still 15. So I I don't know how you're doing it, but um It it only triggers once per round. I can't stack the effects multiple times. However you're doing it, it doesn't seem to want to work work for me. Okay, let's go for this. Pop the letter once. Work on drubbing this guy. I guess I should have gone for the extra... extra damage. Curse of Slow. Yeah, I can't do anything about that, can I? Okay, can't do any more. Fire is gonna hurt. Do the curse of slow, so I don't have to worry about it, because I'm gonna kill him on the next round. Okay. There we go. Do we get anything cool for our troubles? We do and we don't. I, this is really stupid. Put the glove back. This is my fancy shield. Okay. Like I said, kind of awkward. There we go. That gets me a little bit more. So I'm not dead yet. The problem is snakes. What are you? No. I forgot to move the ladder. I might be fine. I don't... 
I don't fully know. I'll just have the regen. I think this is fine. Yeah, please keep giving me the regen curses. I like those. Okay. Yeah, I gotta remember to move the, move the letter. I almost kinda wish it would just reset. Holy shit. We're getting super lucky with this. Sure, he's got like 20 regen, but... Only matters so much. Okay, there we go. Get this. We do get the wizard's robe. And I get the speedy leaf. Okay, move that there. Move this here. Move this over here. That should be good. It's also a cleansing bomb. Oh, but that's on all enemies. Snake and Ohm, Snake and Fire, Gecko. Unknown event. Well, let's do the unknown event and see what happens. A different item of the same rarity. Chef's hat. It's not necessarily what I was going for, but I'll take it. Okay, focus fire him. Consume letter. Beat the snake up. I still have... Plenty of mana, of course. Okay. I at least do enough damage that I, I'm i not in dire straits anymore. Kind of. Nope. I want the dart. I want the dart. I want the debuff potion. I think the rest of these aren't that helpful. Okay. I don't have that much money. He does have his second ruby, though. Ah, uh, let's see, and a cave fish. Ruby costs 35. That that part's a bit more of a doozy. Um, the flat damage is good, though. Great for taking out the snakes pretty quick. So I can sell a couple of things. If I wanted to. Because we can sell the right gauntlet. It's only six block per turn. Because I can sell the two gauntlets, because I need 41. Oh yeah, because this glove is kind of useless. Or alternatively, if I only need 41, we sell the left glove, the debuff potion, and the dart. Buy this, and buy the cave fish just to get some HP back. Then move the letter. Move this here, move these here. Cave fish is normal, everything is fine. I probably should have sold him the duct tape, because at this point the duct tape is functionally not helping me. Move this down. Okay. Well, we're making progress. Awkwardly, but we are. Do that. Let her up. Okay. I'm doing some damage. As long as I didn't get poisoned, I don't care. So we're good. Because then we can just weaken whoever we're up against. Into submission. Oh, hell yeah. It's clubbing time. So we could go fish and get some water. Letter here. We also need a key. Uh, do we get rid of the boots? The boots are four block. Sure. 
There's no more locked doors. And yeah, fish sword's not that helpful. And... Well, I'd like the glitched potion. I need the HP. Go for the snake and the fire gecko first. Okay, go with this. Quaff a shit ton. Kill snake. And then I'm kind of going to have to just wait for a bit, aren't I? Because I want to get as much HP back as I can. And this guy isn't that dangerous. Let's move that up so we have some space for curses. Oh, you're right. I could make the, uh... I could make the club longer. Okay, one more turn. Luckily, I get even more dexterity every round as a result of this. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm doing at this point. I mostly just need to hit him. There we go. Brick. We got a brick. Okay, eight haste to self, cave fish. Not that. I... Sincerely hope they fix this. Okay, because we still have the key. Can't take any more. This'll do. I actually have multiple keys. Whoops. And it's fine. Maybe. He's weak. Nah, don't care. We have one more snake in ohm. Okay, let's do that. So... Yeah, it looks like the, uh, the duct tape just doesn't take the letter, period. Which is an interesting problem. I think they're kind of weirdly anti-synergistic. Okay, well, we're getting our HP back up. That's really all that matters. Alright, so I'll be at 40... 48 at the end of this? Yeah, I'm gonna be at 48 at, at the end of this. Oh, that's the recovery I was looking for. Doesn't matter how angry you get. I am fine. There we go. I'm just gonna keep dragging him down. Oh, wow, that extra dexterity goes a long way here. Grab that. Get some items. More brick. Hmm. Now, I could grab the teddy bear sword, but we wouldn't get the rage scaling. Higher base damage. Yeah, higher base damage, but I wouldn't be able to benefit from scaling. Okay, so let's take a look at this kind of scuffed entity that I'm dealing with. Move this over. There we go. Not that it really matters too much, but now I can at least get this over here. And maybe have some room for some more things. Did I look at this one? I'm pretty sure I did, and it was not that interesting. I'm gonna double check the shop. Like I could, could grab the water, but we're not we're not done yet. It does only cost three though, so I guess I'm just gonna bring it with. There's almost no penalty for it. Duct tape next to the roof. Yeah, I guess I might as well. I was hoping to find that regen wand or something, but it turns out frog statue is 
Not really that useful in the moment. Uh, is this actually applying... No, it's not. Wow. I, I wish duct tape would actually show you a list of its effects. Because it doesn't seem to be doing what I think it's supposed to be doing. Well, I guess let's just quaff a shit ton. And just start beating this guy. There we go. Oh, I'm out of juice. Oh, that's fine. At least we don't have any more snake and snakes and ohms to deal with. I should have used the letter. Eh, no, now's a better time for it. We're getting him down. Club does 47 damage per shot. That's pretty damn good, honestly. Yes, keep summoning your badger friends. Means nothing. Goodbye, losers. Okay, what? Ah. Can be used one time every turn. Adjacent weapons gain plus one healing. I'm gonna grab that. I don't think the cleansing one's that good. But being able to give myself heal on hit sounds great. Um, uh, hmm. Well, there's a roof. I could sell the frog totem for another roof. Sell the frog totem and the duct tape that's not currently doing anything? Let's see. So you're saying if I did this... It would... I don't know, man. I'm just gonna sell the duct tape. It confuses and upsets me. More house. Okay, structures beneath get pl plus one block. I think this is better. Yeah, we need another brick to the left to make my point. Yeah, I just don't see that being particularly good. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I'm sure there's ways to do duct tape, but with the build that I'm currently rolling today, I don't think it really does what I need it to. Well, at least I got hella defense. Oh, I gotta move some things around, though. And yes, I now have healing. The roofs stack on top of each other? Yeah, raise the roof. Alright, there we go. But yeah, I'll, I'll have to figure out... Uh, honestly, look at what other people have suggested for busted runs and then try and do like a duct tape one that actually does something silly because I, I know I've seen other YouTubers do do goofy ones I just don't look at them uh, let's see grab these not that it really matters uh, let's see add a second Point of rage. Oh, we're just... <laughs> We've gotten full Unga Bunga house. And now I get two rage per, per swing here. Okay, let's see if I can get the letter to work twice now that I don't have duct tape. No! Only six damage. I don't know. Either way, though. I just... how oh, Did the Flintstones house have a name? Maybe... maybe? Not that it really matters. None of these are good. A couple ohms. The neighborhood did. Huh. Oh yeah! I vaguely remember that. 
I never really watched the Flint Flintstones. I should go back and rewatch the um I should go rewatch the live action movie cuz I I remember catching a little bit of a little bit of it at my uncle and aunt's house a long time ago. But didn't pay too much attention. Turn this run around as well. Yeah, it's got weird legs. Still got to try Berserker's Club Run, because I could actually see that getting really silly. But, nope. Alright, oh, I should really start using these consumables. Oh, well, hello! Give me that max health. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I did move my letter. I don't think it really matters. <laughs> Look out, it's Bobby Yaga with a club. I'm trying to think of other... Uh, other ways of, like, visually describing what I've got. Because I've got a giant brick house carrying a club. And that really limits us down to not a whole... I mean, like... Some interesting mental imagery, but, uh... I cannot, for the life of me, think of anything that even remotely would look like a house-wielding weaponry. Bubba Yaka. <laughs> okay, let's just hit the Bee Queen. Here's the question. If I kill the Bee Queen, but not... Not their buddies. Will it leave? No, okay, so I I do have to go for this. Oh, that's fine. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't matter how bad his spike spikes are. Neolithic ninja turtle. Huh. Creates a curse, 24 damage. Unspeakably cursed. I really would like to try that that curse build at some point, maybe. Oh well, finish choosing. Okay, rare item of the same type. Nah. Hunga <laughs> bungalow! <laughs> oh, that is better than I could have ever imagined. Holy shit, dude. That's exactly, exactly what I wanted. All right. Anyway. Oh, this is silly. Oh, he's gonna hit me for 25, ain't he? Well. I guess I should probably just re rest and relax for a little while. Hell's bonking castle. Oh God, these are great. All right, Let's do this. I'm just gonna kind of chill for a bit. Is to some lesser degree. I want to get my HP back ish. And I can clobber through his minions pretty effectively. Okay, 28 damage. I just want to make sure I don't get his spikes too high. So I think what I'm going to do is block twice every round and hit once. That way I gain uh, some level. I keep my rage going up slowly. I mean, I guess if he's got minions, I'll hit them. Especially these. The Unga Bungalow, despite its name, is actually a very patient, very patient building. Okay, do I think I just hit him at this point? We'll do two. Okay, I think we're reaching the point where I'm going to have to just wail on him now. That's okay, we're good. 
Yeah, he hit me good for a bit there. But then that's it. All right, we're good. Well, that was uh run. Uh, let's see, the extra rage generation, the extra energy generation. I was fully open. I'd get the one where the, it, my shields would hit stuff. But alas, no dice. It's a shame. Well, is what it is. That was a good run, though. I am going to need to name this video the Unga Bungalow, though. Otherwise, I'm going to forget and be kind of sad.